Ursula. I'm Captain Wow. Welcome back to Shovel Knight. Yay, it's time for an ice level. Ooh. Uh, fortunately, oh god. Forgot about that. The gadget we got from Tinker Knight makes this level easier. Part of it. It's literally the last part of the level, but whatever. Hey. That was a close call with absolutely no consequences if I fell, I just take like only one damage. Oh wait. Wolves, for being so adapted to their environment, don't seem to be very good at living in it. Like, it was cut off, but that guy, that wolf just died. I can't bounce on these guys' heads, but... My awesome double bounce thing... Completely negates that, because I just instantly kill him. Do I have both? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So those are just for treasure. Which I have ample of. Ow. How rude. Well, that was uh, very well spaced. That bomb kind of sucks, but for me, I should feel bad about themselves. Here is the sunken ship part of the sunken ship level. Which means it was a sunken ship on an Arctic expedition. And let me tell you, that is one of my favorite, like, settings for anything. Like, one of my favorite books is The Terror. I talked about it on the channel a while ago. But I freaking love Arctic expedition settings in books, TVs, movies. If you don't want to read it, it's a very long book, I don't blame you. But it's a very good ogre book. I think I talked about and learned, like, the Captain Wild talked about his niche interests episode in Minecraft when we were still building, or still filling in that lake. A lot of things don't seem to like uh, me bouncing on their head. I wonder why. Oh, but The Terror is a really good book. I'll give a brief summary. It's the 1800s, maybe 19th century. I can't remember when they said it. But basically, it's just a British expedition to Antarctica to make a trade route. Ah, rats. Uh, and there's two ships, the Terror and I forgot the other one. It's not as uh, interestingly named, but uh, they're stuck in the ice. They have um, Eskimo with them, is that? Or I think it's Eskimo, right? An ice Eskimo from Castle Crashers is with them, and uh, she's like their guide, kind of. She's not very helpful. But they're being gradually hunted by this monster, who they name the Terror. Uh, and the captain of the Terror sure doesn't like that, because it's disrespecting his boat. But it's just them surviving in the ice. Uh, it's, like I said, it's a good book. I enjoyed it. I'm not done with it. I'd say I'm about halfway done. Now this part sucks. This particular part of the ice level is bad. Especially in the freaking final level. Which combines a lot of like the previously... Yeah, it kind of stays there. Established parts of the game. It's a combination of everything all at once. Which is nice, but uh, it's just like the hard parts. The parts that suck and were tedious to do. Like this part. Uh, 
Okay, wow, well, that's real skill issue. Shut up. Alright, and away we go. continuously jumps from multiple perspectives as the book goes on. And it juggles it pretty well. For the most part. Some parts you stick with characters for a bit too long. There's a part in the middle, I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but it, it kind of overstays its welcome. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. Uh, read it yourself, it's very good. Very descriptive. So it definitely paints a picture of the scene. Alright, here's where you get the gadget of the level. I'm not gonna stop calling them gadgets, by the way. It's, it's Captain Wild, it's a relic, I don't care. In the village out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna do me when I just down in his chest. Wanna see? It's a horn. That's a lot of damage. In a wide, wide area. But yeah, it costs like 20. Very expensive, but it, like, I think it just. Wow. Uh, I think it just literally kills anything in its path. Which is why it's so expensive. But a uh, quite useful tool. Now you see there is a fun challenge to this part, but I'm going to negate that challenge completely. Just as a precaution. That's cool. Very easier. Alright, we go. This is a crate. Like, I know. But, like, this is a Bowser airship kind of design. How many, how many music sheets have we gotten? Like, we have not gotten that many. Okay. Whoa! Oh, things. Is it worth that? How much did we lose? That's a lot. Oh, we gotta go through this again, don't we? I agree. I'm gonna... Yeah. Definitely worth it, though. Cause those guys can be kind of annoying. They, they just make you wait, they're not really a danger. Oh crap. I think this is it, this is the part of the level where you can just skip it with the mobile gear. Here, away, ow. I'm 
sick of you. Oh, it kills enemies on the ground level. And away we go. And here we are. Boss fight. I now realize we didn't do anything beforehand to pad out the, the game. Whoopsie. So, my old friend, the day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we both lay down our shovels and part as equals? The order, of no the order has no equals. Surely you can recognize their power. Join us. We've forgotten our oath. What happened to the proud warrior I knew? I know no, no more words. The bitter cold will claim you. Yeah, that happened in Frostpunk. But that was like, uh, I let that happen. Ow. It basically just threw sand in my eye. Yeah, no, he makes the arena uh, a hazard. Very nice of you, old friend. Give me a second here. Oh, no. Got ya. I'm just fishing on some spikes. Oh, wow, that was like my last uh, thing, too. Clutch. That, yeah, that's it. This makes it way easier. See? Look at that. That's so cool. Give me thousands, please. There we go. Unless I'm on the money, but whatever. Give me once again. There it is. The Tower of Fate. With its acid rain clouds. It's pretty dangerous. Yep, there it is. Last one. A meal ticket handed me, I'll get to work on my best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate one time or less. Going up a teeth and pardon the mess. It's the last time we're gonna talk to this guy, so might as well humor him a little. Yep, let him talk. With this absolutely that actually looks edible. He's improved. And since we're here. We missed two. The anchor. We throw two at a time. And chaos orb. Also two at a time. Very interesting. Now we can get another music note if we talk to this lady after killing Spectre Knight. We defeated Spectre Knight. Now I feel like my greatest treasure. Damn. Ow. Oh, okay. I didn't end abruptly. Oh, the music changes depending on where you are in the thing. I think I saw that earlier, but whatever. Whoa, you have six music sheets! I guess it'll take five more for each. Ooh, well, let's see here. Oh, you found Star Wars. I have told Polar Knight this was my greatest conversion yet. His response? <laughs> okay. I paid for all the, the cool trinkets. There's not bold up between. Uh, things. Does it take me back to it, or...? Yeah, okay. 
thought it would take me to the, the shortcut place, but no. I go all the way back, and then exit the map. Good thing we're wearing uh, armor. As you all know, armor can protect you from fall damage. This is why there is no known documents of knights in medieval ages falling off cliffs. Because it was not noteworthy whatsoever. Ah, beans. A bit late there. What if it stays? Yeah. There we go, I was nervous. If you couldn't tell. Oh dear. Amazing platforming by old Captain Wild. Shovel Knight just continuously pulled down the glider. Is he stupid? I've seen so many uh, posts of that on like the. Uh, that's like a running joke on the Arkham subreddit, which has gone completely insane. Because they haven't had a game in 10 years. Nope. There we go. That doesn't really require the thing, I don't know why that was there. Oh, I see. And we'll go for it. Aha! Looks like Sir. Oh wait, no. I meant to just dive over it. Like that. There we go. Which is beyond belief. All right. No. Nope. Uh, next episode. There's a secret. Oh, that's like a secret thing here. I'll jump into the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. All.